I'm here at Regis Pro Grey. How you doing, sir? I'm good, I'm you guys, you guys know Regis over in the UK. I know him from the UK. I met him last year at the Boxers Writers right, right, Association right, Award. Right. Regis, just talk to us about the fight. And yeah, I mean, it was an amazing fight. You know, I'm a, I'm a fan of the sport, so I just I love boxing. So mm -hmm. um, this is, I think, for me, this is a historical fight. Yeah. You know, this will be looked, this will be looked at, you know, for decades and decades to come. Yeah, Can just, I ask what you predicted going into this fight? I predicted why. Okay. I, I predicted why the heat shot. I'm not gonna lie, like, especially knocking him out like that. Mm -hmm. he shot him. He you saw that. You saw that third round knockdown. Yes. Do you, was you even? Obviously, you were surprised, but from Wilder's perspective, he never seemed to recover. Um, yeah, no, do you feel right. it could have been stopped a lot earlier? They should have stopped the fight a lot earlier. Yeah. yeah. You know, because now his eardrum is all bust. From what I'm hearing, he has to go to the hospital. He needs stitches. Um, you don't want damage to fight you know, over a long period of time. So I think yeah, they should have stopped the fight a lot earlier. Question for you. For question for you both. Oh, Christopher, for you. Eddie Hearns put out a tweet saying, "Let's make the fight between Joshua and, and Fury." I saw that. Thoughts on that fight as a matchup? Man, you gotta put it in your country. You gotta yeah. put it in the UK. You probably have over a hundred thousand people there at whatever stage. Y'all have women there, whatever hundred thousand yeah. people. You definitely have to put it over there. And for me, um, I go, I have the world with Fury yeah. you know, for that fight because, um, honestly, before this fight, I thought I was my thought process was Deontay Wilder was the best heavyweight in the world, and then Tyson Fury, and then Anthony Joshua. Now, I think I really think that Jiu-Jitsu King is the real king of the heavyweight division. So, and would um, you advise Wilder to take a bit of a layoff, not take this immediate take rematch? Probably, probably a year. He's doing a couple for a year. Man. He made a shitload, he made a shitload of money. He probably just needs to just chill out and hang out for a while. And, um, you know, he, I think he took a beat. I think he took, you know, he got hurt in the fight. It wasn't, it's, it's something that you know, he's going to feel over a long period of time. So he needs to chill out for a while. And, and you said that he got hurt, but uh, we were both in New York for the Joshua fight. That was also an upset. That was an upset more, yes. more than this to say. Why? What's the difference in your mind between Joshua's loss and Wilder's loss tonight as to why he needs to take a bit longer out? I think he, he took he took more punishment. You know, he took he took way well, no, man, how you doing? Good. I took I, I just think he took way more punishment. You know, like with, uh, with Andy Joshua, he can take as much punishment. Yeah. 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 I know you gonna get that belt back. Yeah, I'm getting all I'm getting all my shit back. I got to I gotta get my belts back. Um, but yeah, man, I, just, I thought he just took you know I just think he took more uh, punishment. Hey, my question is for Thank you very much, Regis. I'm gonna let you get no do problem. your thing. Say thank you.